What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask if you please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe, y'all. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the newest gaming sensation, I should call it. Uh, but the newest game that's got a lot of attention from a lot of people. It's not necessarily new, but the game that's got a lot of people's attention. And I'm talking about that game, KO City, Knockout City, the new dodgeball game, man. Now, let's speak on it. Now, if my personal opinion, man, uh, I'd have to give this game a solid B plus, A minus, man. I I'm not even going to lie to you. And y'all know how y'all know how critical Rage King is on games. Y'all you understand what I'm saying? Anybody that's been following me for a while, you know what I'm saying? We come out to uh come November, we're gonna be in this game, we're gonna be on the YouTube thing for about two years. So anybody that's been following me for a while, y'all know how critical I am on games, because y'all know how passionate I am about gaming. You understand what I'm saying? I love gaming. You understand what I'm saying? It's what I grew up with. It's it's what I have now, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, I have more than just gaming now, but it's something I truly enjoy doing. You understand what I'm saying? And went from a hobby to a true passion. You understand what I'm saying? I love gaming. So <clears throat> to me, seeing all seeing the downfall of gaming, go especially gameplay wise, and being riddled with microtransactions and shit like that, seeing that has kind of is is kind of it's kind of ruined gaming for me to an to an extent. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's like all of that was not necessary. You understand what I'm saying? So many of these gaming companies companies claiming they weren't well, we weren't making any money. We weren't making, but yet. Every time you look up, we got the PS4, the PS5, the, you know what I'm saying? We got brand new systems, you know what I'm saying? Games that look better and better. You understand what I'm saying? More and more money is being invested into them, but yet you weren't making any money off of games that didn't have any microtransactions. Yeah, okay, bullshit somebody else. But with that being said, the game Knockout City, man, it's really fun. It's really fucking fun. Um, I'm playing it a lot more, uh, to be honest with you, uh... I'm going to be streaming it a lot more on Twitch here real soon. Uh, I'm going to have a Twitch stream on it today. Uh, <clears throat> if I can, if you know, barring anything, you know, showing up out of nowhere on me. But uh, it's it's a great game. Man. It's it's a really good game. It really is. It's a lot of fun. Now, having said all that, you know, no game is going to be perfect. I get that. The only thing I would say about the game is, is, you know, obviously down the road, you're going to need more stages, more content, you know, different balls, of course, no homo. But uh, I would just worry about if, with them. The only thing I would fix is the button input. You understand what I'm saying? Because sometimes the game doesn't read the input on time. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes the game, like you'll be throwing the ball in the, in the, in the input. I have you catching it. You understand? I have you doing a catch animation. It's not anything necessarily game breaking or, or anything that's, you know, ruining the game per se. It's more annoying than it is bad. You understand what I'm saying? But like I said, with that being said, it's it's a good game all in all. If you feel, if they could tweak that, if they could fix that little thing right there with the button input, and the latency, sometimes you got frame drops every now and then, which is probably more on the servers than anything else. You tweak that a little bit and fix the input on here. You got a really good game that could go on for a long time. You understand what I'm saying? It's definitely got my attention. Uh, I'll definitely, because, you know, I like games I can grind on. You understand what I'm saying? I'll definitely be grinding on this game for a little while until Esports Boxing Club comes out. And I'm really going to be grinding on that game. But having said all that, man. Knockout City proved Knockout City proves something to me. In my, in my opinion, it proves something. And what it proves is, man, is that you you can have a game that doesn't necessarily have a big brand, or you can have a game that that represents a big brand like EA, and you don't need to riddle it with microtransactions. You know what I'm saying? You can still have a game that has fun gameplay. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the best thing about Knockout City. The gameplay, is, it, it's fun. You understand what I'm saying? You really get engaged. You understand what I'm saying? Like you, you really, like you, I don't want to say emotionally invested into it, but you definitely feel yourself having fun. You understand what I'm saying? It's not, oh, I'm just playing this because it's what I've been playing for X amount of time. You understand what I'm saying? Like how I was with, and a lot of people are with games like 2K, with MK, with, with Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? With games that, aren't necessarily nearly as good as they once were. You understand what I'm saying? And that's not me shitting on anybody's favorite game, man. If that's your game, play your shit. I'm not knocking you. I'm not. I'm just saying, for me, that's how it is for me. I'm not knocking the game if for you. If that's the game you like playing and fucking with, that, that's you. Cool. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't got no beef with you or you playing the game. Do you. It's your fucking system, your money. Do your goddamn thing. I don't care. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it at all. You understand? I'm just saying on my part, when I'm speaking on it, I'm speaking on my personal. This is just me. I'm not speaking for nobody. This is just me. 
You understand what I'm saying? It's just me. And from what I've heard from various other people, you understand what I'm saying? Not speaking for the person that actually likes the game, just speaking on, you know, my personal opinion and what other people have told me. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, bro, Knockout City, the gameplay makes it all a worthwhile playing. You know what I'm saying? It's only $20 in the PlayStation Store. You understand what I'm saying? So 20 bucks. you understand? You spend more than that on on, on worse or bullshit. A lot of y'all do, especially if you follow me. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, with that being said, Knockout City is a fun game, man. It proves that you can still have a, a modern-day game, and the game will be fun. Because I, I hear a lot of people, especially the older content creators, well, I ain't going to say older, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm still in my 20s, but... Especially the content creators that's been doing this for a while, and especially the cats that are a little bit older that are liking they, you know, that are liking their thirties or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them, I hear a lot of them saying, "Man, am I just, am I just getting too old to play games? You understand? Am I just getting, am I getting too old to be gaming?" And to be honest, and I and I tell them the same thing. Hell no. The problem is not you getting too old to play the game because my uncle Terry, God rest his soul, this man was playing on Nintendo sixty when I was a kid growing up. I watched this man play Mega Man and and, and uh. Banjo Kazooie and 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 uh, uh, Donkey Kong Country, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> On that Nintendo 64 and that Super Nintendo until the day he passed at, in his 60s. You understand? This man was well into his 60s. Would go to church, go to work, get his pack of cigarettes, get his alcohol, sit right there in that chair when he was done with it all, and just play all damn day long. You understand what I'm saying? Imagine how much money he would make on Twitch right now if if they had Twitch 20 years ago, 2030. You know what I'm saying? If they had Twitch 20 years ago, wow. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not the fact that that you're getting too old to game. You'll never be too old to game if that's what you truly like doing. You understand what I'm saying? That's how I truly feel on it. You'll never get too old to game. But the problem is the past few years, the games haven't necessarily been that good, especially games that guys have grown to love and grown up with. You understand what I'm saying? It's just not as good as it used to be. It's just it's just what it is. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you what you need to know. It, the, the games just haven't been as good as they used to be, gameplay-wise. They look phenomenal. But they just haven't played. They're not fun to play. And with this game, Knockout City, to close out the video, bro, to me, at least to me, it's fun. You understand? And it proves that you can still have a game from a big corporation that can still be fun gameplay-wise. The problem with the modern-day game is they're, they're nice to look at. They're nice to watch. They just suck to play. Knockout City is the exact opposite. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's very cartoonish. You understand what I'm saying? But I don't think the intent there was to have graphics. You understand what I'm saying? The intent there was to have an old school, nice, solid game that people can just kick back, relax, and, and just turn on and play. Don't take a whole bunch of skill. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know, a lot of y'all have taken a lot of y'all have taken the games that took a lot of skill to 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 learn how to play and and made and made it the conglomerate it is now and want to take all this skill gap and all that hard work and turn this shit into Fortnite where you don't need no skill you understand what i'm saying this proves right knockout city to close out the video proves that you can have a game on the side that's not that big titan like a 2k or you know a, a nba 2k or a man nfl game and you can have a nice solid game that's still fun to play and you can you know what i'm saying and wait the for the people the casuals and the people that don't like skill gaps like that, you can turn on the game like this and still have fun. You understand what I'm saying? Or for the people that don't have a lot of time to play games like that, you can turn on the game like this and still have fun. That's just my opinion, though. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about Knockout City if you played the game already. If you have not, I highly suggest you do. If you have the money, if you have the $20 to spare, go ahead and do it. I think it's fun. In my own personal opinion, I will be streaming this later on today. Uh, so, uh, again, let me know what y'all think about the game in the comment section. If y'all have not got it already, Knockout City. But that's, as, long, as long as you remain respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's going to be the end of my video, man. I hope you enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out, and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, and more good content. Now, hashtag that enough. Says. See y'all next time.